Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024, and I am back in cold, although not too terrible, out today, Pennsylvania. And I have so many errands that need to be run and just so much stuff that I have to do now that I'm, I'm back home and now that I'm realizing it's the beginning of the new year and I have a house to sell in the next like three months, hopefully. There is so much work to do, but anyway, so today, we're going to be going to the post office and probably Target, and then that might be it for errands that I'm gonna actually run today because again, I do have so much work at home that needs to get done, but I do have to go to the post office and I do have to go to Target. And since we're driving past, we're gonna go check out the Goodwill here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, because it has been about uh, two weeks, maybe, since I've last been inside here. And I love hitting this store up. I like trying to find some good deals and good deals. I do find inside this Goodwill. So hopefully today, I find some more of those, those good deals. If I can find just one movie I need for me, I'll consider today a success. It can if I can find another PlayStation 2 or Nintendo 64, which again, I, I found both, both of those at, at this Goodwill, then I'll be really happy. Today will really be a success. I'm not holding my breath though. Not that I resell toys or even really collect toys or anything like that, but I do always kind of just glance at the toy section because you never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes I do find some cool stuff that I wanna, I wanna use to have for like decor in the library or something like that. But I just, I hate that they do this now. It makes looking through the toys so incredibly, that's creepy, makes looking through the toys so incredibly difficult now that it's all up here on top of the, the shelving. But wow. That's weird. Yeah, that is that is very weird. And this is very vintage, maybe? Look at this, Fisher-Price Magic Track Train. What is, what is the year on this? I mean, it looks vintage, right? That is really cool looking. They're asking only $10 for this. I mean, I'm not gonna pick it up. I have no need for it. 1988, look at that right there. That is so cool. Man, when I was a kid, I would have killed for one of these. That is awesome. I had friends who had train sets like that. I never I never had one. That is really, really awesome. Wave of nostalgia coming back to me right now. I honestly kind of want to buy that just for for me. If it was if that was like Disney, that was Disney themed or something like that, I'd be buying that. But I'm gonna be good. What do what do I need at the age of 41 with a a little Fisher Price train set? Nothing. That's what I need with it. Nothing. So I'm gonna keep walking, but I'd be lying if I were to say I, I was not tempted to pick that up. All right, well, unfortunately, I don't really see anything in the toys I wanna pick up, though. Again, so many creepy, disturbing baby dolls that are very, very realistic looking here at this Goodwill. That is so creepy. Though this Star Wars The Force Awakens poster, it's like a 3D poster, that is awesome. Again, things I, I don't need. Do, do I need a map of Pennsylvania? I mean, that would be pretty awesome to hang down in Florida somewhere. I mean, this is new, look at this. Hanging this down in the Florida house, I mean, to remember my my Pennsylvania roots, right? That is awesome. Again, things I, I want, but I don't really have any need for it. It's only $13. I mean, that is a fan, mark it down from 100, mark down from 140 to 99 to only 13. I don't know where I would put that. That is tempting though. That is extremely tempting. Uh, I'm just, I'm so tempted by stuff today. Anyway, the real reason, of course, why I came here was to look through all the, the media, the, the DVDs, the Blu-rays, things like that. That's what I'm really looking for. So hopefully maybe there's something over here I wanna pick up. I kinda want that Pennsylvania picture. I, I really want that Pennsylvania picture. This is interesting. 37 food items sold out after a crisis. Don't get caught without these critical items. I wonder if this person was caught without their critical items because this has never been opened up. I honestly thought this was for the pandemic. I thought, okay, somebody was trying to make some money off, uh, off the pandemic crisis, but no, this is from 2011, soldoutaftercrisis.com. That is interesting. I, I kind of wish I would have had this before, um, before the pandemic, it could have, could have saved me on trying to hunt down toilet paper, but I did not. Maybe I should buy that. 
I'm gonna pass on that though. I, it's interesting, but I don't need that. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing a whole lot in the way of anything I actually need to pick up. There are some interesting titles here, a decent amount of Blu-rays, which is really cool to see, but not really anything I, I need. Though with that being said, I don't think I have this. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom 2005 season. I know I have, I know I have some of the uh, the mutual uh, mutual of Omaha's releases, but I don't think I have the 2005 season two DVD set. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna want to pick this up. I, I do love these documentaries; they're really well done. Also, um, put out by I guess Animal Planet as well, which is pretty cool for promotional use only. So this is probably maybe harder to come by. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to pick this up, and it's um, actually on sale. Anything with a black tag this week is on sale for half a price. So for for one fifty, I'm thinking I need this. All right, I'm getting fairly certain I don't have this. I'm picking this up. I'm also thinking I maybe don't have this either. The Sons of Katie Elder. I could swear I do own this though, and I do have a bunch of John Wayne box sets, and I I checked my my John Wayne box as I went onto my 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 um my list on my website, and I do have all my John Wayne box sets listed. This is not in those sets, but do I have this by itself? I I don't know. I I checked my list, and I don't see this on there, but I, I could swear I own this movie. Sh should I pick it up? It's in minty condition. If I don't have this, I'm going to be kind of bummed I didn't buy it, so I mean, it's, it's only three bucks. I probably... I probably have it, but whatever. I'm gonna buy it anyway. I'm actually thinking that's going to be it. I don't really see anything else I want to pick up other than these two items, unfortunately. There are a whole bunch of Xbox games, uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One games, but I don't have a an Xbox. I'm also looking at the uh, the Star Wars trilogy down here for only $5. That's cool. I, I don't need it. I, I already have that Indiana Jones set, which is really, really cool. I remember when this came out. This was like the coolest thing ever. Now it's um, it's missing two movies. I know some people might say, no, no, it's not. But yes, yes, it is. The the last two films, Dial of uh, Destiny and Crystal Skull. I don't care what you say. They're they're great movies. I I love those films. But anyway, I don't need that, and I don't need any of the the Blu-rays or any of the other box sets. So I'm thinking it is just going to be these these two titles. Kind of a shame when you see cool things like the Sister Act. Sister Act double feature set, things like that. They actually do have some good titles here. It's just, it's titles I already own, things I don't need. So, all right, just, just these two. I'm gonna quickly rummage up and down the aisles, but it's probably just gonna be this. If that Fisher Price train wasn't nostalgia enough, as I'm walking away from the media, I'm noticing this down here, audio accents, cassette carrying case. Oh my gosh, I used to have one of these back in the day, back before CDs became, well, not that CDs weren't a thing, but before CDs became more prevalent. For a long time, CDs were were out of a lot of people's uh, price range. They were extremely expensive. CD players and disc men were, were crazy, crazy expensive, but cassette tapes were still fairly cheap and Walkman and stereos were, were fairly cheap. So I used to have lots of cassettes back in the 90s. That is pretty awesome. What's the, I don't know what the date on this is. I don't see a date. No. No date on this, but I'm thinking that's got to be 90s right there. I remember there being just walls of these things at places like um, at at the wall or, or Sam Goody or stuff like that. Carrying cases. Those were those were a thing, kid. Kid, kid kids before um, before you could just stick your entire CD collection, music collection on your on your iPhone. That was a thing you needed. Well, nothing overly amazing inside the Goodwill today other than a whole bunch of creepy baby dolls. Seriously, those things were disturbing. And well, and the Fisher Price train set, which I really wanted. I don't know, had that been in, in brand new condition, I, I, mean, I mean, I may have been tempted. It was opened, but I don't know. Had it been unopened for 10 bucks, I may, I may have bought it. Maybe put it around my Christmas tree or something. I don't know, that was pretty cool. And that Pennsylvania poster, or painting or whatever that was. That was awesome, but where am I gonna put that? I have nowhere to put that. So anyway, it's just the uh, the two DVDs, one of which I'm fairly certain I do need, and, and another which I, I don't actually know if I need or not, but 
I want it. So, all right. Again, nothing crazy, but some some okay finds. All right, anyway, so um, we gotta go to the post office. I've got packages that need to be dropped off, and I'm fairly certain, if I'm not mistaken, fairly, fairly certain, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, pretty sure there are packages waiting for me there. So, all right, let's go to the uh, the post office. Deja vu. Yeah, hold on. Wait a minute. We're not we're not done yet here at this at this Goodwill. Actually, I ran back inside quickly just to take a picture of the um, the Pennsylvania painting picture thing. I don't know. It, it's just really cool. I like it. I wanted to go in and take a picture quickly because who knows? May, maybe I'll I'll come back for it. Probably not. But I just wanted to get a photo so I could decide later on. But anyway, when I went back in there, I um, I walked past the the movies again because there was somebody blocking the the other way into that area anyway so as i'm walking past the movies again i noticed this somehow i completely looked over jim henson's pajaminals this is good night pajaminals i don't have this one yet in my collection i do i do love this show it's a great jim henson series and i have some other of the the dvd releases but i did not have this one so also black tag for only one dollar and fifty cents had to grab that. That just goes to show you. I always say you should look over media like at least two times. Maybe make it three times because um, unless they just put this out between me walking out of the store and back into the store, which I, I doubt, I somehow looked over this twice. But anyway, that's awesome. That's cool. So, all right. Now we're done here at the Goodwill. Now finally on to the post office. All right. Made it out to the, uh, the post office. I got some packages again to drop off. I've actually got um, Patreon postcards for this month that need to be um, that need to be sent out. What am I doing? I think my cards already unlocked. That need to be sent out as well. So I got packages for the store to be dropped off. I got Patreon postcards to be sent out. Now I can lock my door. There we go. And then and then possibly maybe some packages. I think anyway, there are some packages in here waiting for for me. So all right, let's go drop these off and let's see what it is that. I have received because honestly at this point i don't know if it's stuff i ordered or stuff that was I, I have no i have no idea what's waiting for me inside here but i think there's something all right so a couple of packages and um what looks like to be some maybe christmas cards waiting for me inside there i i have no idea i think um one of these things i know about it's something i i ordered the other stuff it's a complete mystery who sent me what what's inside the packages what christmas cards are there i have no idea so anyway let's get into the car and let's find out what you guys have sent me and what's the one thing i i ordered for myself about two months ago at this point all right so let's see what it is that i have received let me get you guys all set up here looking good i i suppose good good enough anyway all right so um i guess we'll start with the the Christmas cards maybe first. I think these are Christmas cards. I'm not entirely sure. So we've got um, we've got a card or something here from from Caleb. So let's see what Caleb has has sent. All right, and it is indeed a card. Look at that, Christmas blessing. Sending you Christmas blessings. Love Caleb. That is awesome. Very very cool. And it says. Um, he, oh, it says to email him. So, okay, <laughs> I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him an email. Thank you very much for that. And then we got a card here from, I don't know. It comes from uh, the UK though. All the way from the UK. Not sure who this is from. Doesn't say on the outside. But the inside says, Merry Christmas to Dave, Danny, Max, and Sean. Have a magical Christmas and a happy new year. Oh, it's from Lauren. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool, Lauren. Thank you so much. I love Lauren. We are we are big fans of, uh, uh, Danielle and I are big fans of Lauren. So that is cool. That is awesome. Thank you so much for the Christmas cards, guys. I really do appreciate that. But all right, um, now on to the, the packages. I suppose we'll start off here with the, the package that I know as to what is um, what is inside here. This is from Vinegar Syndrome. Ordered only one thing off them during their their Black Friday sale. I was pretty happy to get this. Got it for a, um, a good price. It's something I had been wanting for a while and I believe I got free shipping on this as well, which is pretty cool. Had to wait two months for it to show up, but um, it has it has arrived. So there's a 
little vinegar syndrome card here with the uh, leather face on it and uh, oh cool a um, sticker as well that is awesome anyway what i ordered was this the birds 2 lands and blu-ray so happy this finally has received a um, a proper a proper disc release for a long long time this, this was only available on vhs and that's what i have in my collection right now i have a vhs why well, that's what i had in my collection was a um a vhs copy of this now i finally have a blu-ray copy not even a dvd copy a blu-ray copy that is really really cool all kinds of special features on here the movie is um not great <laughs> it's not a good sequel to the birds um it's kind of a weird movie but i love it it's, this is awesome man i've been wanting to um I've been wanting to have this in my collection for some time now. This is this is cool. This is an awesome release. I was pretty pumped when I saw that this had um, received a physical release on disc, and I knew at some point I would have to get my hands on this. Almost picked it up at uh, was it Monster Mania? Almost grabbed it there, but I decided to to pass on it and wait for the the um, the Black Friday sale. God, I did. I got this for a pretty good price. I don't remember what that price was. That was two months ago, but. I remember the the price was fairly good on this. It was um, it was to the price point that I was pretty happy, and I believe shipping was free as well. So pretty cool, awesome vinegar syndrome release here. That is great. Very happy to be adding that into my collection um, on on a on a disc format to, to get rid of that, that nasty old VHS. I, I still love VHS tapes though. All right, now onto the mystery packages here. This one comes from Paul from the the UK, maybe. Yeah, it looks like Paul from. Um, yeah, Paul from somewhere in the UK. Not 100% sure where in the UK, but Paul from somewhere in the UK. So let's see what Paul has, has sent. We've got, is this a note? We have a, we have a note. It says, Dave, I saw this and thought of you. All the best with the move to Florida. Thank you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Paul. So Paul sent, uh, oh my gosh, this is cool. I don't, I don't think I have this. I'm fairly certain I don't have this release. It's Get Fit with Mel B for the Xbox 360. Now I, I absolutely have this game. I have like two other releases of it, but I don't have, oh, look at that. All the inserts and everything. That is so cool. I don't have this release of the game though. I don't know if the ones I have just aren't for the Xbox 360 or maybe, um, Maybe the ones I have are a di different artwork or I, I forget. Whatever I have, it's not this. That is cool. That is so awesome. Yeah, pretty excited to um, pretty excited to have this. That is cool. Yeah. Thank you, Paul, so much for this. Like I said, I don't I don't have this release of the game. So that's going into my my Spice Girl collection. That is so cool. Paul, again, thank you so much. I always love adding Spice Girl stuff to my collection because I just don't find it all that often, unfortunately. So when I when I do get something new for the, for my uh, for my Spice Girl collection, I'm pretty happy. So again, Paul, thank you very much. This is awesome. And last but not least is um, I have no idea. This appears to have been sent from a studio. It looks very studio-ish. I don't know what is inside here. I don't believe I ordered anything else. So I guess they're just sending me something. This is oh <laughs> wait, why am I only? Why am I only getting this now? When was this mailed out? This was mailed out... This is mailed out while I was down in Florida. Why did they only mail this now? It's the complete first season of The Sandman on Blu-ray, which is awesome. Warner Brothers, thank you so much for sending this to me. That is cool, but the reason why I'm asking why they just sent this to me now is because this has been out for, what, a couple of weeks now, right? I And I know that because... I bought a copy of this from, from Target. I already have this in my collection. It looks like I'll be, I don't know, re, I'll, I'll be returning one of my copies uh, of this because um, I don't need I don't need two copies now. So um, yeah, thankfully, uh, I believe I I, I, I still have the receipt for the, the copy I bought a couple of weeks ago. But um, yeah, Warner Brothers, thank you so much for sending this to me. That is awesome. I don't know why. Usually when, usually when a company sends you something, they send it to you like ahead of time, like a week ahead of time or so, or, or a couple of weeks ahead of time. So you can say, Hey, look at this new cool thing coming out. You guys want to get your hands on this. This is awesome. They don't usually send you stuff like a month after it's already been out. So kind of weird, sh kind of strange. Cause yeah, I'm looking at the, um, the shipping date on this and, um, yeah, this was shipped out while I was in Florida. So don't know why 
they waited so long to send this out. But anyway, uh, if anybody else out there received a copy of this from Warner Brothers, did you get your copy strangely late? Uh, let me know. Uh, but anyway, this is cool. This is awesome. I, yeah, I will definitely be returning the copy that I bought from, uh, from Target. I don't believe I ever opened my copy up, so I can, I can return that. Not a big, not a big deal, but that's cool. That's awesome. I still haven't seen this show yet though. If you guys have, leave your comments down below. Any good? I, I mean, I bought a copy of it. Clearly I wanted to see it and I, I needed it for my DC collection. Like, let's face it. I mean, I do want to watch it, but let's face it. I picked it up just because I, I want to get every DC release there is and every Marvel release there is. So I got to have them all. Anyway, that's cool. That's awesome. Warner Brothers, thank you so much for sending this to me. Looking forward to checking it out. Uh, special features, the Sandman behind the scenes, sneak peek, uh, the world of the endless. Very cool. Very awesome. Again, Warner Brothers, thank you so much for this. A little late, but still, thank you very much. A late, uh, a late Christmas present. That is awesome. Very cool. But all right, that's it. I guess um, now we got to head to Target. All right, we've made it to Target, though. I think at some point I'm probably going to have to come back out here because I did not bring any kind of list. And I don't even know what, it, what, what all it is I need out here. I, I, know, I, need, I know I need a couple groceries, but I, there's other groceries I need. There's other things I need. I'm going to get, I know for a fact I'm going to get back home and realize there were 20 other things I wanted to pick up out here that I did not grab. So I'll be back at Target probably tomorrow at some point. But anyway, so I'm going to grab some groceries, gro 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 groceries, groceries quick. I'm going to go look at the media section and I'm going to see if I bought my copy of Sandman on my credit card. Because if I did, I can return this copy that Warner Brothers just sent me. Because again, I don't need two copies of the movie so, or the, the TV show. So I'm going to try to return this if I can. See what movies they have. Maybe there's something else I want to buy instead. And, um, and a couple of groceries as well. There, there's so much more I need. I'll be back. All right. So I'm hoping I still have the receipt for the, um, the copy of Sandman. I bought because I guess I bought it with a gift card, which makes sense. I, I think I, ha I had some gift cards recently, so I think I may have bought Sandman on a gift card and not with my actual credit card because we tried re returning it that way and it did not did not work. So I'm gonna go home and see if I have the receipt, hopefully, and then I can return my copy of it. But anyway, I've got a card. Like I said, a couple of groceries I know that I want to pick up, and while we're here, yeah, we're. We're gonna go look at the uh, the movies. I actually do have some gift cards I received for Christmas that I would not mind spending. So we'll see what they have. All right, so I no longer care that I can't return Sandman because again, I did receive some gift cards over Christmas and I'm already seeing things I, I wanna pick up like the complete series of the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is awesome. And I had no idea this was even released. I. I do have, I think, most of the series in the individual releases, but I don't have the entire series. I am missing a couple of those sets. So this here would complete, obviously, my my series. I am absolutely picking this up. $25 seems like a really good deal for this as well. So, all right, one of my gift cards is getting used for this. That's an awesome find. And I'm absolutely also picking up this weird, the Al Yankovic story. I did see this on Netflix. I loved it. It was fantastic. It was amazing. And I've been wanting to, wanting to get myself a copy of this for a while now. So I am picking that up as well. Haven't rewatched this yet. I need to, to watch it for a second time because, man, this was such a great, great funny movie. I, I love this one. So, all right. Also picking up that. And now I'm kind of torn, but I don't know, maybe not really. They do have things like Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. Is this a sequel to the Pet Cemetery remake, reboot, whatever that movie was? I, I did not really care for the, the remake, reboot, so I, I don't know about this one. If you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. For now, though, I am just going to pass on that. If I get it for, let's say, $5 or less, or maybe with store credit at the Video Game Movie Dome, then I'll pick it up. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna I'm just going to pass on that. And speaking of the video game movie dome, Pamela has Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem on hold for me. So I don't actually need this. I, I have been wanting to see this. I do really want to check this out. But again, I do already have a copy of that on hold, so I don't need it. But what I'm tempted by is the holdovers. I love me some Paul Giamatti. I, I have been really wanting to see this, but I think maybe I'm going to pass on this for now as well because... I'm kind of in the mood for, for some horror. The Christmas season has just passed us and I, I haven't really watched any horror movies in a while. So I'm thinking maybe The Exorcist Believer 
In fact, I'm thinking the 4K Blu-ray digital code combo pack of The Exorcist Believer. <sighs> Again, I love me Paul Giamatti, but I'm in the mood for horror. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up too. Oh yeah, so I guess the next major holiday coming up would be Valentine's Day. As you can see, Target is in full force to get all their Valentine's Day stuff out. What kind of stinks though about Valentine's Day is my all time, well, one of my all time favorite candies is a Valentine's Day candy. It's the Everlasting Gobstoppers Heartbreakers. They are so good. And I used to get them every single year from Target because they were the only stores that actually carried them. And as of last year, they stopped for some reason. I look now, they do not have them. They did not have them last year. They, they, they no longer carry them. No stores that I know of carry Heartbreakers. If you know of one, leave a comment down below. I used to love coming out here and stocking up on them, especially the day after Valentine's Day when all this candy drops down to like half price. Oh my gosh, I'd buy so many bags of Heartbreakers. It was awesome. I know I could just order them from Amazon or maybe from Target.com. I, I know I, I could buy them online and I probably will end up buying them online. But again, I, I miss being able to come out to the stores and pick them up and get them for half a price. So my, my stomach is better for it, but it kind of breaks my heart that I cannot buy Heartbreakers anymore from, from Target or really from any store that I know of. If you, again, if you know of one, leave a comment down below because I'm going to go out and buy some. But I think for now, I guess it's just uh, ordering Heartbreakers off of, off of Amazon. All right, so again, I was an idiot. I did not make a list or really figure out what exactly it is that I need to pick up as far as groceries are concerned. So I'm, I'm just gonna grab some Pure Leaf because I know I'm almost out of that. And then I guess a couple of snacks. Again, I, I'm gonna have to come back out to Target or, or at least go to the grocery store at some point. There are more things I need, but I do not remember what they are. Well, I was gonna go in that direction, but Again, in true typical Target fashion, they have the whole entire whole entire aisle blocked because they're the restocking during the day. Yeah, it's time for me to to go on a rant. No, I won't. But I don't like it, Target. Okay, so next thing I want to pick up is um, because I've been on a kick. Mini Oreos, or sorry, Oreo Minis, or just Oreo. Mi they're not mini Oreos. They're not Oreo minis. They're just Oreo mini. All right, that's, that's interesting. Never noticed that before. So I've been on this like Oreo kick recently. I don't know. I've, I've, I, I went like years without like, like hardly ever eating an Oreo. Now I've been eating them constantly. Not, again, not good, but I, I need some. And I guess since I'm buying Oreos, I'll, I'll be good. I'll just get some some Cheerios. I, I do want some cereal and I, I could get some, you know, Life or Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Captain Crunch or, or Fruit Loops or something like that, but I'll, I'll be good. If I'm going to be snacking on, on mini Ore Oreo mini that I... So weird. Why is it not minis? Why is it not pluralized? Anyway, if I'm going to be snacking on those. I should probably get a, a cereal that's not just loaded with sugar. And with that, I don't know what else I need. So I'm thinking... I think that's going to be it for, for Target. Just just some movies, spending my gift cards, buying a couple of groceries that I know I absolutely want. But like I said, I'll be back out here again because there's definitely more things I I want to pick up. More cereal, more other things, or more, more groceries, more other things I want to grab. I just don't remember what those things are. I'll, I'll figure it out once I get home, though. All right, guys. But with that, I do think uh, that's going to do it for, for this video. That's going to do it for today. I'm just, I'm, I'm like looking behind me to make sure nobody like security isn't follow, following me out because um, again, I, I brought in that copy of Sandman and walked out with it. I'm just waiting for somebody to be like, hey, sir, you didn't, you didn't pay for that. I did pay for it a while ago. I just couldn't return it because I don't have the receipt. Anyway, so yeah, again, with that, with that we, are, we are done. I got some movies I'm pretty happy about all using the, uh, the gift cards I got for Christmas. Got a couple of groceries I needed, unboxed some cool stuff. Picked up a few good DVDs from, from Goodwill. All in all, a pretty successful day thus far. But I have so much more stuff to do at home. I've got a lot of chores that have to get done. More packing that needs to get done. It's going to be a very, very, very busy, I was going to say, um, evening for me. But no, it's going to be a very busy, like, next three months for me. I got so much stuff to do. But 
All right, guys, with that, we are done. I'm gonna go find some food to eat. I'm trying to be more healthy. No fast food today. No fast food forever anymore, I'm thinking. I gotta go find myself some like grilled chicken. Where can I get grilled chicken from? I need grilled chicken. Maybe some iced tea or some water. No soda either. I gotta be good. I've been feeling so crappy with the food I've been eating recently. I've gotta change that up. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go find some grilled chicken. Then I'll see you guys in the next video. So, as always, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Again, I just sent out postcards today. If you're a patron, you should be getting those in the next like week or so. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. They do keep the show going. So I really do appreciate the help and the support. <clears throat> getting all choked up and the support. All right, guys, if you watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag I can't find my receipt. Hashtag I can't find my receipt. If you guys watch this video, I'm still looking for security to be coming after me. Leave that hashtag down below if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end. But all right, guys, again, that's it. Thanks, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.